Hey guys, good morning. It is a beautiful morning here in the bayou. It's hot, it's muggy, um, everything you expect in a warm Florida day. Um, but this is no ordinary day. I have some awesome news to share with you. Guys, let me introduce you to my wife, Alyssa Wild, formerly Alyssa Brown. Hi guys, we got married. We did it. <laughs> Got the proof to show there. Yeah. yeah, guys, we got married. Um, wow, marriage rocks. We are loving it. We've been married for a month. Yeah, yeah. a month now, and it's been the best experience ever. We're so thankful. Um, it's been so cool. And we were reflecting on our big day, and we thought it'd be cool to share with you guys some of the highlights. We were engaged for how long? Ten months. Ten months, man. Ten months. Time. It was brutal. By the time we were like two or three weeks away, it had felt like an eternity. So we were really ready to be married. Being in Wisconsin, I had to plan everything well because all the decorations were there and we had to transport them down to Niceville, Florida. So that was difficult. But I had lots of time to just plan the perfect day and had all these expectations, um, not knowing what the weather would be like for June 12th. Um, just praying and hoping for a sunny mm -hmm. day with no rain and no bugs. Yes. <laughs> Another thing we prayed for for those 10 months prepping for the wedding that we could have a God honoring wedding, that the wedding wouldn't be about Morgan and I, um, even though a wedding typically is about the bride and groom, mm -hmm. and we knew that, but that when people saw us, that they could see God's glory um, through this wedding and through our marriages was our prayer. Now, this was our first wedding that the boys and I had actually attended. Our and first stateside wedding. We went to a few of Renindo. We did go to one in Indonesia. Yeah. Well, Morgan different. chose for all of us to be um, groomsmen in his wedding. I was chosen to be the best man. And so it was kind of a learning process for a lot of us. There's a lot of tradition involved with weddings here in the U.S. And so really our first obligation was to set up a bachelor party. Mm, yeah, it was um, pretty sweet. Morgan wanted to go out um, fishing out in the Gulf with all the groomsmen. Yeah, he didn't want anything too fancy. Uh, he had been really busy with school. He actually finished his last assignment um, for college the day before the wedding. Yes. Um, so he had been packed out really busy and he hadn't had a chance to go fishing with us and our grandpa in a really long time. So it was awesome. It was a beautiful sunny day. We headed out, but it was a little bit wavy, and so everyone was fine. We got to the spa, we started fishing, and then it was like all of a sudden, everyone Damn. started getting seasick. <sighs> they threw up their breakfast, and then it was just liquids after that. Every little bit of water or Gatorade they drink was going out. So we so. tried to get like some Dramamine down them, try to calm like the seasickness down a little bit, but there was no stopping it. So, it, was, it was really sad. Um, mm. I kind of put a damper on the party, but mm. we still had a great time. Everyone caught fish, and so, yeah, so it ended up being that. a lot of fun. Made it back home okay. Caught some yeah. fish. Mm -hmm. It was a big success. It was a good trip. Because Alyssa grew up overseas, like me, on the mission field, um, we have friends and family from all over the world. Yeah, so. literally. So <laughs> it was it was an interesting guest list, and it was an interesting time trying to get our closest friends and family from literally all around the world um, here in, in Niceville, Florida, to to witness and celebrate the big day with us. I had no idea all the traditions, everything that went into uh, pulling off a Western uh, a stateside wedding. You know, growing up overseas in Indonesia, you know, in a remote little tribe, people didn't get married the same that we do. I mean, it was, it was more, there was no ceremony, there was no fluff. It was really just an agreement between, you know, a man, um, a woman, and her father. You might have a small celebration, a feast would take place, um, but wow pull off a wedding here in the States, it's crazy. <laughs> the boys and I have never dressed up like actually formally. Hmm. We've, we've worn mm -hmm. collared shirts and jeans. And that's about as fancy as it's yeah. gotten. And so for the wedding, of course, we had to put on slacks and real shoes, collared shirts and suspenders. I, I was so embarrassed that it was two nights before the wedding. I decided to just throw it on just to kind of get used to it, see how it looked. And guys, I could not come down from my room. I was so embarrassed. Oh my God. Alyssa and Morgan and mom and dad were downstairs. We're like, Hudson, come on, you gotta show us how it looks. I could not come out of my room. So the next morning to surprise Alyssa, we put everything on, suspenders and all, and um, we actually looked pretty good together. Yeah. 
seeing the boys decked out in the Greensman's outfits uh, just cracked me up. <laughs> they were troopers, which that is not at all the wild way. But uh, they did it for me, their sister, and um, they looked they looked dashing. They all looked great. Asher and Logan were loving it. They're like snapping all these pictures with their sunglasses on. I did. I had, I had some aviator sunglasses on. It was pretty sweet. That's <laughs> so cheesy. I think the biggest threat of the day was the rain factor. Um, having a Florida wedding at a venue outside, we didn't really have a plan B in case we were to have like a torrential downpour. I remember pulling up at Eden Garden State Park and I didn't have my, um, my jacket on yet because I didn't want to get it creased. And right as I stepped out of the car door, raindrops. And it wasn't just a few, it wasn't a sun shower, it actually started raining. So I quickly jumped back in the car, slammed the door shut, and I had to wait out the rain. And it was probably 20 minutes of rain and then it actually let off. I was able to get out, get dressed, and then we had this time of picture taking set up and um, it was gonna be my first my first glimpse of, of Alyssa, my ride to be. And guys, can't even describe um, the, the feeling of just seeing Alyssa for the first time in her wedding dress, just standing there in under this beautiful canopy of trees and just beaming. She was beautiful. She was glowing and that was Partly due to the heat, but she was so beautiful. And I remember thinking, like, how can this be? How did a guy like me get such a beautiful, beautiful looking girl? And, um, and, from, and that was really, that was the rest of the day. I mean, that just kicked it off. It started so well. We did not expect this, but with the rain before came flies. Every so often, here in Florida, there's a bloom of biting flies. We've only experienced it a couple times before, but it just so happens that that day, the day of the wedding, there was a bloom of them, and they were everywhere. And these flies were not just your average fly, they were... Bad They were pretty flies. nasty. It was like a combination between a, a horse fly and a regular fly, but these were biting flies. It was, it was an adventure, it was fun. It was causing everyone a we little bit of stress. Up. But um, I think the pictures turned out pretty good, despite yeah. the rain, despite the and flies. And it was amazing, because as soon as the guests started coming, it was like the flies disappeared. By the time of the ceremony, I it was, was actually cleared out, yeah. and we're ready to go and do this. Yeah. I was super nervous, kind of just kept going through it. I was just like, you know what, at the end of the day, all that matters is we're going to be married, rain That's or right. shine. Rain or shine. But I didn't really think about what would happen I was like, okay, Morgan and I will stand up there and get married, even if it's pouring rain. But what about our guest? I don't yes. know if they would have done that. But the Lord held it off for the ceremony. And um, even through the reception, it didn't rain. We were out on the dance floor and <laughs> the weather just turned. It was epic. There's like clouds, there's thunder, lightning. The wind picked up. Yeah. And we we're still dancing. Morgan and I were slow dancing for our first song. and just hoping that it wouldn't pour at that moment, and it didn't. And at the moment, I was dancing with my dad, and he whispered into my ear, don't forget the goodness of God. Um, and he just really reminded me that he chose to bless us and to hold off the rain. And he was like, look around you, it's not pouring yet, and it should be um, on the radar. Um, it said the clouds were just going all through Eden Gardens, but yet there was a circle of light and it wasn't pouring. And so we're just so reminded of the goodness of God. And it didn't rain even up into the send off. Um, we drove, Morgan and I drove out of there, and as soon as we got out the park, it just started pouring yep. on us. But it wasn't pouring um, back in Eden Gardens where our families were cleaning up the wedding. Pretty cool. Yeah, so the ceremony was just super sweet and it was super special and really, really powerful. And we were all just so stoked to have Alyssa as our sister now. Yeah, Pretty caught the, up in the moment. The song where um, Alyssa walked down the aisle with her dad, that was like maybe one of the most magical moments for sure. Yeah. I'll have that song like ingrained in my mind now. Like, every time I hear it, I'll just be like, man. Yeah, yeah it was that super was the special. moment. It was so So we've never so been cool. to any stateside weddings, so we don't really have anything to compare it to, but it was just, I mean, we think it was amazing. I think it's I the best think, wedding ever. I don't know if yeah, any other wedding can compare. It was super sweet, super chill and relaxed. It was a perfect mixture of just like family um, with tradition and everything, and we just loved it. Super and special time. Speaking of it being so good, I think that one of the best parts was Hudson's best man speech. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it was really good. I, Thanks, boys. I, I, I've heard quite a few motivational speeches, like movies and stuff, but that, like, I think topped it all. It was so good. Yeah, he was so. I don't think it could have been any better. It. And wow, afterwards, really afterwards, off, I was talking with people, and, and they said the same thing. They're like, "Man, you know, I've heard a lot of wedding speeches before. That Not one sure. was like." It, it was quite frankly amazing. I mean, yeah, it was so good. Wow. And we have it on well, camera you. too. Yeah, so. it's a little bit long to find this vlog episode, but actually we're going to put it on our Patreon page for all our patrons so they can see it because it was, it was really cool. Mm-hmm. I think for both of us, probably the highlight of the day was actually the wedding ceremony. We were so thankful because um, our pastor, Troy Hamilton, he just made it in the day prior from a trip to Hawaii. And so, um, we weren't even sure if he was going to make it, but he did just in time the day before for the rehearsal. Yeah. Um, so he made it in and fresh from Hawaii, had a nice tan, and um, he did an awesome job with their ceremony. Um, and we learned a lot. My dad and I built a little sign and it had a cross in the middle with three strands of cords um, on either side of the cross. And in the center was a uh, a cord that was white and it's supposed to represent Christ. And so Morgan and I, for our unity, part of the ceremony, we went up there and braided it together. And uh, we did it in the rehearsal the day before and we were kind of trying to figure out how to braid it together. It was kind of a silly kind of thing, but in the ceremony, it was such a precious moment I will never forget. Um, I was just stood there in awe just of what taking in the meaning and what it really stood for and what it meant. The whole point was that we were weaving our lives around Christ and He was the center. I remember kind of everybody fading out and just even (laughs) Troy and I just I saw me I saw my my spouse to be and um, I felt the Lord's presence and realized you know what you can take away the fluff you can take away the traditions and everything and truly is it's two people an audience of one, and that is God, and it's making a, a lifelong commitment together. And and um, we firmly believe that marriage, it was, it's something, it's, it's God's fun. idea. God designed it. And it's a beautiful picture of of unity, like Alyssa said, of commitment, of, of love. Um, but first and foremost, it's a picture of um, good marriage. It's a picture of Christ and his love to his bride. And that's the the global church, it's the church. And um, when a marriage is strong, when a marriage um, is done right, it's a beautiful picture of that. If our eyes are both set on, on Christ, if He is the center of our relationship, if He is our first love, and we are equally committed to serving Him, we know that that God will be faithful to keep us together forever. And so and so we're trusting Him and with our marriage. This is Morgan and Alyssa Wow. We're looking forward to serving Him together now as a team. Um, before it was it was Morgan and it was Alyssa, um, but now we're 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 one. It's not just two people; it's one. And so we look forward to serving the Lord with our lives together now as a as a team. Um, and Alyssa's my best friend, and so I couldn't think of a better person <laughs> to do that with. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.